Hi, I'm James Mina, General Director and Principal Conductor of Opera Carolina, and welcome to this edition of Overtures. We're here backstage at the Blumenthal Performing Arts Center as I'm getting ready to conduct a performance this evening, and I thought it would be the perfect time to talk to you about our next Opera Carolina production, Verdi's La Traviata. This is one of the most popular operas in all of the repertory. Now it's kind of amazing to think that we've been performing La Traviata nearly non-stop since its 1853 premiere, more than 150 years. There has to be a reason for that. And I think it goes beyond the touching story of the courtesan who is redeemed by her own character and by true love. It has to do, I think, with the extraordinary music of Verdi. Now we all know the music of this opera, at least one or two of the tunes, and I'm sure when you hear them, you go, oh, I know that opera, I know that aria, I know that song. You just didn't know where it came from. Well, it comes from La Traviata. This was an extraordinary opera written at an extraordinary time for Verdi. Between 1850 and 1853, he would write three of his greatest masterpieces, Rigoletto, Il Trovatore, and La Traviata. In fact, some of the music for Traviata was written on the train while Verdi was going to Rome for the premiere of Il Trovatore, a rather extraordinary time in the creative life of a great genius. There's some backstory, though, that I find very interesting about La Traviata. Now, as I said, this was a very creative period in Verdi's life, but some ten years before La Traviata, Verdi suffered a great tragedy. His wife and his two infant children died. He was alone during this great period in which he created some of the finest of his operas. And he became involved romantically with a singer, Giuseppina Streponi, who would become his soulmate and his lifelong partner. But during the period of La Traviata, their love affair was still common gossip. And you see, Streponi had some illegitimate children and a dark past. I think the idea of the fallen woman, La Traviata, who is redeemed by true love, compelled Verdi for more than just dramatic reason. Now, I've already mentioned that you probably know some of the music from La Traviata, and I'm sure you know the story. You see, it became the backdrop for some great movies, including Greta Garbo's famous Camille with Robert Taylor, a famous classic movie, and more recently, the movie Pretty Woman, starring Richard Gere and Julia Roberts. You see, the idea of a woman from a sordid past, if you will, who is redeemed by true love and whose own character redeems her is a very compelling story. And you wrap that story in with the great music of Verdi and you have a masterpiece. But the premiere of La Traviata in 1853 in Venice was anything but a success. In fact, Verdi wrote a note to his assistant saying, Emanuele, La Traviata, fiasco. Was it the music, or was it the singers? Only time will tell. And certainly time has judged that La Traviata is one of the great masterpieces of all the operatic repertoire. So join us on February 3rd, 5th, and 6th here at the North Carolina Blumenthal Performing Arts Center when Opera Carolina performs Verdi's La Traviata. Learn more about the opera at operacarolina.org or become a friend of Opera Carolina on Facebook and follow the activities of our company on Twitter. Thanks again, and I'll see you at the next edition of Overtures.